Okay. Yes. So, uh, they have to have uh, a significant amount of deposits coming in from customers like you and I, you know, which are pretty much, you know, uh, idling there, right? You know, you don't do too much with that. Okay. So, that because every account has got a certain minimum uh, amount below which it never goes, you know, there's a behavior pattern of the customer, right? It's not, not to do with the minimum balance in the account customer has to maintain. But typically, you know, people people don't uh, put their money to work, you know, in an in a efficient way. They just leave it lying around. And that is the one that feeds into their uh, loan stream, right? So the CASA is a very important factor and uh, the banks are, yeah. Go, yeah, they'll go overboard to get the retail customers. There's no doubt about it. Got it. So now I, I have a, now a sense for why banks need this product. So uh, help me understand how the the specific sub segment or sub industry, which is the revenue management and billing solutions industry, and and again I honestly know only two standalone players, the SunTech and Zafir. This is what I could find, you know, through desktop searches. But I don't know if there are other names. I mean, I know big big guys like Oracle and SAP and Infor and others will all have some product or the other. But as an industry, why did these two start? I mean, what was you know, what is your sense of Zafin's addressable market size? Um, and then we should talk about what, how the, the business model and the revenue model works because this feels like some, this feels like a product that will need to be, you know, implemented on site, cannot be sold on the cloud because it's banks data and um, they, they won't really be comfortable in sending it out of the system. But again, that is an assumption going in. So would love to sort of get your sense of what is the, the actual addressable market size and how would you segment? I mean, by maybe geography, geography is a way to segment that market. But how would you think of that market? And is that the market these guys are playing in? And is that large enough for standalone players to emerge? Yeah. So um, let me, I'll give you my take. You know, based on what I've observed. You know, I, I, I honestly believe that there is a you know there is a space here uh, which is uh, definitely gone past the. Uh, you know, the uh, early stages of, uh, you know, creating awareness in a bank that, you know, something like this must exist. You cannot pull along with your core banking system anymore. So I think it has gone past that stage. But implementing a solution like this, it is not a trivial exercise, right? I mean, to put it lightly, right? So, you know, we did something in uh, Barclays Bank, you know, and, you know, and we are doing that in many banks in Canada. I mean, when I say we, I, you know, when I was in South we are doing exactly. it in yeah. Canada yeah. for uh, Canada for in many banks, and we have done it for HDFC Bank. It is a it is a fairly complex exercise to because this actually has to go and sit in the middle of you know a bunch of other applications uh, and uh, interface with uh, you know all of this. Right? Technically, it is very challenging. You know, the core banking system obviously is a key component uh, or a key system with which such a revenue uh, management and billing software has to interface with. But there could be other systems with whom uh, I need to interface, you know, like, for example, product information. Okay. This is another area that is becoming specialized. Okay. Uh, the, the, the catalog of products that the bank offers, you know, again, has historically been part of the core banking system. But now, increasingly, the product management itself is being called out into a separate domain. And there are applications which, uh, you know, say, talk about a catalog of products, management, managing that catalog. Okay. And then that mm. becomes a separate system. And some banks have a product management as a separate system with whom you need to interact. Because that is one, because otherwise, you know, the nightmarish situation in many banks today is there is, you know, so much of data duplication, you won't imagine the mess that is there in the back. So they, they, they just go ahead and replicate uh, multiple the systems. The same product is defined in five different systems, and each the definition is not consistent. It leads to all kinds of issues. I mean, what you what comes into the public domain uh, with all this is with all these problems is very little. But you know the the true story behind. If you go and ask somebody in the bank, they'll try. Okay, so that is the situation which is. So product management is one uh, one possible uh, you know system to me interface. And then there could be other. Uh, uh, you know, reporting system, you know, because the regulatory reporting is a specialized area. You know, many banks have reporting systems which are built for uh, regulatory report. And, you know, this system right. will have to finally push some data into some system like that for reporting. So, sorry, 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 to, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, so, but actually, before we get into the other optional, you know, other options that a player like Zappen has, what is, do you think, is the size of their core market, which is... The